Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Muhammad Azman and in this video we are going to discuss about year track DAX function in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get started. If you are new to this video, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now coming back to this one. Year frac. Basically, it is year fraction. Calculate the fraction of the year represented by the number of whole days between two days. The syntax is year frac open bracket start date date time comma end date also date time comma basis basis or of five types by default it is zero and is also optional it is not mandatory so the default is zero zero means us nasd but it will divide every month by 30 as 360 days in a year if you select one it will calculate actual or actual it means what is the current month between these days and what is the actual number of days in a particular year if you select option 2 it will calculate actual that is a month in between them divided by 360 days in a year if you select 3 it will calculate actual between these dates divided by 365 days in a year if you select 4 it will calculate European 30 for every month divided by 360. If you select option 1, then maybe the ideal one because actual between these days and divided by actual. If there is a leap year, it will also calculate the leap year between these days. An example for year fraction that is minimum of orders table order date comma maximum of orders table order date comma zero so it will calculate the year with fraction between these two dates or even we can put it manually year fraction that is january 1 2007 comma march 1st 2007 it will be the exact number of year with the fraction now let's go into the demo if you look at this one i use the grouping function for these objects these two objects i made a video of how the grouping works in power bi if you haven't seen that video just click on the link given on top of your screen now coming back to this one i also use this one that date function the day difference the day difference day diff open bracket minimum of orders date and comma maximum of order days by year it returns three so I use the same that function only i've changed from year to month it returns me 47 months if you click on the same thing with the day function this one it returns 1457 days we use the same parameters that is the minimum of order date and maximum of order days in year fraction calculation tax function let's have a look at the result we have five options for this one year fraction so i use all the five options here from zero starting from zero year fraction minimum of order date comma maximum of order date comma zero it turns 3.99 years whereas the date function in year it returns only three if you have a look at the second one year fraction one using the same parameters it also returns 3.99 it divides actual by actual if you have a look at the third one year fraction 2 
it returns 4.05 because actual divided by 360 days in a year. I think 2016 was a leap year. Let's have a look at the calendar. This one sixteen was a leap year, so it has to consider the actual by three hundred and sixty. So it returns four point zero five. So now let's move on to the next one, year fraction three. It also returns three point nine nine actual divided by three hundred and sixty five. And if you go to the last one, year fraction four, the European. 20 or 360 it also returns 3.99 so from this video what you learned is the diff different function returns a date only the integer that is the first number before the decimal point whereas the year fraction gives exactly the uh, years in the fraction hope you understand the year fraction and also the difference between date is and year fraction. If you like this video, please click on the big thumbs up button and also share with your friends and colleagues. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also, and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Please share your comments feedback and queries in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning and see you in the next video